January 23rd. Numerology plays an important role to them also because the numerics that you're given at birth, that is your name, are influencing factors on you for the rest of your life, even if you change your name. I did change my name legally, but I didn't do it to get away. I did it to add power. I do not reject my other name, but I add to it, and I balance it out. This is really, in the end, all about balancing energies and forces. This is what all of this is about with the Illuminati, with humanity. It isn't about humans versus reptilians. It isn't even about that. It is about the misuse of power. It is about the misuse of energy. It's about the misuse of feminine energy and the misuse of male energy. And it needs to be corrected. This solar system is out of balance. This galaxy is out of balance. We are out of balance. They are imposing a false matrix upon this dimension. And this needs to be corrected. People need to be aware of it. This is how they will bring down the lower fourth into this dimension, which is their objective. What people need to understand is that the Illuminati strings are pulled also. They are not, in the end, in control here. They are also subject to string pulling, and they are also subject to being lied to by their puppet masters who are on other dimensions. They're another dimensional level. They lie to them, too. So I am not in judgment. My message is things need to change. Whether they want to change them is another matter, but we need to do something. When I was a child, part the basic training that goes on with children is to remove a sense of safety and security. So children go through things like having a close family member, such as a father and or mother and or brothers or sisters, older ones, cousins, aunts, uncles, family friends, molest them, perpetrate upon them in the most horrendous ways. There is nothing more awful that you can do to a little child than to sexually molest and perpetrate on their person. Because here is an adult that is supposed to love you, take care of you, and what are they doing to you? Sticking a penis in your mouth or in other or orifices, telling you not to tell, pinching you, biting you, hurting you, doing things that don't leave marks on you. This is an adult that's supposed to love you. So the little child thinks, this must be love, but it hurts. I don't understand. It, it's like having an explosion go off in your mind. So you never know. You never know when you're little who is going to hurt you because you know it hurts. And you grow up, 
really being programmed into thinking this is how it is. You don't know anything else. And the abuse is so terrible. Just at that level, in your everyday life, that you've got to dissociate it, push it away, forget. The ones that can't do that, those children are the ones that, if they make it to adulthood, they end up being diagnosed schizophrenic, psychotic. They end up in jail, committing crimes. I guarantee you that every sexual molester in jail has been molested horrifically. That does not excuse their behavior because we all make a choice. But this is how it goes on. It goes on from generation to generation, and it has increased greatly. A child's basic need, besides safety, is shelter, food, water, clothing, elimination. Little children who are told no, you can't have any water. Left in a room. No, you better not pee. Because if you do, you're going to drink it. And then guess what? It happens. If you have a bowel movement, you're going to eat it. And that is what happens. This is basic training. Left in a room and ignored, you're understimulated, you're sensory deprived, left in a room with blankets tied around you so you can't move. You don't know what time of day it is because maybe you're blindfolded. You're left that way. And then you're overstimulated. And everyone acts like nothing is happening. This isn't even happening because the adults around you don't talk about it. They never say a word. Life goes on around you, and it's ignored, and you're ignored. You feel crazy. You feel like this cannot be happening. It must not be real. I'm not real. Versus none of this is real. Maybe both. This is crazy making, and this causes a child who has the ability to go inside themselves, to dissociate and start creating their own little world. The seed is planted because they need you to have an inside world because you're going to spend a lot of time in that inside world that they're going to take that seed and they're going to make, create all of these inside scenarios. This is how you create multiple personalities. This is the very early training. This sets the scene. This lets you know that anything can happen anytime. About the age of five, they start training you for what they want you to be doing. They have realized your tendencies, they've studied your reactions, and they will start training you for what role it is you're going to have. About that time, there's a little marriage ceremony for a child. The child is married into the particular group, organized perpetrator group. You can call it that. You can call it cult. The child is married into it. And they are given a ring. Today, on my little finger, 
on this hand.